Thursday Thursday night. night. Yeah, a little trumpet <laughs> fanfare. Thursday night, the Huskies play the Oregon State Beavers at Heckhead for the Pac-10 Championship. We'll have it for you live here on Channel 7. Huskies, Beavers, Thursday night live. Pete Gross and I'll have the game from Heckhead. What time? 7.30. Great. All right. That is a big announcement. Yeah, it That's is. a big basketball game. I thought game. you'd like that. Great. In a moment, the latest weather forecast from Harry Whopper and a couple of movie reviews from our critic at large. Hi, I'm Congressman Norm Dix. I'm sitting inside the old Pantages Theater. It used to be Tacoma Showcase, and it will be again. Before long, you'll be seeing Broadway musicals, country western performers, and local dance and drama on stage at the Pantages. But we need $700,000 more to complete the restoration, and we need your help. Invest in Tacoma's future. Send your tax-deductible donation to the Pantages Center. Thank you. Well, most rivers in western Washington are receding tonight. Flood warnings continue on the Snohomish, Snoqualmie, and Chehalis rivers. Roads and farmlands in Snohomish County this afternoon were flooded after a dike broke along the Snohomish River just south of the E.B. Slough. And now here's Harry Wappler with the latest information on the weather. Harry, are we going to have a change? Susan, we're not really going to have a change. What we have is a continuing pattern of fronts traveling in the southwesterly flow. Intermissions between them, but one follows the other. Here's our latest satellite picture, just in the past 10 minutes from space. This system is the one that's over us now. You see a break back here. Of course, here's Washington. You see a break back here. That's tomorrow's weather. There'll be, well, I don't want to say a sunny day, but there'll be some periods when you'll see a glimpse of sun or two. But with heavy onshore flow, it'll be mostly cloudy, but not very wet. Until tomorrow night when this system comes in. Back up 12 hours. That's where things were about noontime. Now let's put the systems in time-lapse photography on our weather I-7 and watch them as they approach the coast. San Francisco picked up another almost one inch of rain today. And in our own area here, well, totals haven't been that high, but the most I've seen in western Washington in the past 24 hours has been Olympia with about an inch and a half of rain. Around the rest of the country, here's how the weather looked. And it looked pretty warm. Even though Chicago and Minneapolis were stuck in the mid to upper 30s, most everybody else reported some pretty warm weather. We've got 83 degrees, a record high at Jacksonville, Florida, 60, a record high at Casper, Wyoming. The warmest in all the nation, well, I'm gonna squeeze the frying pan in there for Brownsville, Texas with 94 degrees. I couldn't find anyone below zero in the lower 48, so eight above zero at Bismarck, North Dakota takes the Icicle Award, the lowest low in the lower 48. Umiat in Alaska with 53 below. Nobody else plays in that league. They win it for all 50. 79 in Honolulu today, a very pleasant afternoon in that uh, beautiful city. At SeaTac, our 11 o'clock readings show the temperature to be 50 degrees Fahrenheit. It's raining, six miles visibility from the airport weather station, 10 Celsius, 78% relative humidity. The wind is out of the south, and the barometric pressure is holding steady. Well, our high today at the airport, instead of a normal of 49, was above normal with 53. Normal low is 36, we had 47. The records are 58 and 13, set in 1977 and 1956. Now, these rainfall statistics are important because they show both our monthly total and our yearly total to be above average. The yearly total is about 1.3 inches above normal, so we're in fine shape. The rain can stop any time. The problem is it doesn't seem to want to. <laughs> Over in eastern Washington, where our temperature is even now around 50 degrees in the Tri-Cities, it was 62 for the high there today, and Yakima made 60 degrees for their high. That indeed is spring-like weather. Tomorrow, with some rain coming across the area tonight, particularly along the eastern border near Spokane and Pullman, tomorrow's high is again in the 50s, with lows overnight in the 40s, and some glimpses of sunshine, particularly along these east slopes of the Cascade cities. Snow level's at 4,000 feet, so most of the passes will see rain tonight, and then snow at the higher elevations, tapering off tomorrow, increasing again tomorrow night. Small craft flags for all the waters of western Washington. The warmest in western Washington is Olympia, with 56 degrees. Now we'll do some forecasting. Here we go for tonight, and as you might expect, rain and windy. We'll have winds from the south, 15 to 25 miles per hour, and lows in the mid-40s. For tomorrow, Wednesday looks as if it will be mostly cloudy, a uh, decreasing chance of rain, possibly some still in the morning hours, but maybe a glimpse of two of sunshine by afternoon and highs much like we had today. The five-day outlook, instead of drying things out, we're going to stay with this wet pattern, possibly a break coming before the end of the week, but right now the maps show wet and mild. A two-star day today, the scale is one to five, and tomorrow we soar to three stars. Stand by for more excitement. Yeah, a little bit of excitement going on right now.